Hi guys, I'm here with my last Batoyo Bento. They stopped doing the ribbon because they had to get a bigger box for the item that's inside. Let's see what we got. Well, what I got. Okay. okay. Oh my god. Okay, the big I am. I'll move the box inside this right here. I won't look inside. It's a Super Mario clock, I believe. And I guess I got Luigi. Kind of a disappointment. This disappointment. I wanted Mario. Let's see, just in case. See, the reason why they got a big box is because last time they people were complaining that the figure that they got was not in the original box. So this was their way of making the customers happy. That's a nice figure. I mean, a uh, clock. Alright. Put some of that away on the side for now. Okay, next is... Reach it down here. I don't know what this is. A clip of some sort? I don't know. That's not that cool, to be honest with you. And we got, okay, this is a Pokemon. Not familiar with the Pokemon. Is that its name? Shinki Chika? I'm not, I hate the new Pokemon's names, man. They're so stupid. Some of the, the designs are cool, but the, the names are ridiculous. And... Focus. See, without a box at the back, there's no focus. I don't know what this is either. Okay, well, and this is all that there was, and this is just milk chocolate. A very old looking chocolate, which is nasty. Look at that shit, I'm not gonna eat it. Okay, well that's yeah, see, that's pretty much all that was in the box. Let's get into the value. All right, with the value of the items, this I put in batteries, and there were the instructions are in Japanese or Chinese, whatever. I don't know. I'm not too sure. None of these buttons even do anything. These just switch the time and alarm off. So I don't know how this works or if these make sounds. When I did put in the battery, it made in like it made the coin sound like when he collects a coin. Yeah, and this I found to be $25 to $35 um, online. You can find them for different prices. But Mar I think Mario is going for a little bit more. I guess no one really does like Luigi. I per I did prefer M Mario though. But yeah, Luigi's fine. Uh, this stupid... Uh, I don't even know what this is. I gave it a value of $1 to $2 because... Like, someone's gonna like go into a store. Go, oh, look at this! They're definitely not gonna want to pay more than a few dollars for this crap. I don't even know what it is. The face looks familiar, but I don't want to sound like an idiot by guessing what it is. But whatever, hair clip, I guess. One to two dollars. This I found out to be it was the limited edition. No, I don't think it's limited edition, but it is uh, 2010. It's from the Pokemon Center, and I know Pokemon Center usually stop making items after the year. Uh, they like switch up the items so it becomes rare, but I'm not sure if this is one of them. And this is the winter version of this Pokemon. And this was... Where is it? 10 to 15 dollars. 
you can find them maybe a little lower on, on uh, online like eBay you can find them a little lower but I think it depends on the Pokemon I seen like Charmander $12 free shipping and uh, this I had no idea what this was I couldn't find a proper a proper price for, for this so don't quote me but because it says four over there I'm guessing that's yen I'm guessing four to five dollars on it could be completely wrong so don't quote me but four to five dollars whatever this is I'm probably just gonna give this away I don't really I don't want that all right and the chocolate it, it, it was clearly just a filler I I, I I eat one piece of it and it tastes like shit so I threw out the other piece I don't even know why I ate it. It looked like it was like 90 years old. Um, anyways, the low end of the, bo the box was $40 and the high end was $57. The price of the box was $38 including the shipping. That's shipping included. Um, this was my last Patoyo Bento as I mentioned. And hopefully I I'll resubscribe it in, in the near future. But until then, enjoy whatever the other videos I have up, I'm going to be uploading. Until then, peace.